here we are at the Adelaide Convention Centre for the 2013 Crows Club Champion Award. We'll catch up with a few of the guys and of course their partners on the red carpet. Well, Danger Club Champion Night, the Adelaide Football Club Night of Nights. You're one of the main men tonight, one of the favourites. How do you fancy your chances of taking out the gold jacket this evening? And you're not Bernie Cat. I was expecting Bernie to be doing this, but obviously there's been a liquor ban, so he won't be obviously interviewing tonight. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty tight, but I think Richard Douglas has had an outstanding year, been very consistent for us. Uh, so he's got my tip, but that being said, so uh, Roy's had a great year as well. So, And Sando is a fan of the number nine. Pup, club champion night. Biggest night on the Adelaide Football Club calendar. Who's your tip to take it out tonight? Um, yeah, I'd say Rory's going to win it. Um, he had a great year uh, the entire season, so um, it'd be good for uh, him. Hopefully it's uh, one of uh, many. Barry Downs, legend of the Adelaide Football Club. How many club champions have you been to, BJ? Oh, probably all of them, I suppose. Might have missed one or two over the years, I suppose. But yeah. Who, Who's your tip for tonight? Uh, I think it'll be out of Rory, um, Patrick and uh, Richard, I reckon. Who would you like I to see think, when it? Oh, well, they're all, they've all had good years. I'd probably fancy uh, uh, probably Sloaney, I reckon. Yeah, Chuck. He's your favourite, isn't he? He's everyone's oh, favourite. Well, he's, he's, he's the players had a good year, and I think he might just edge out Patrick and uh, and uh, and uh, Dougie third. You're wearing the blue suit tonight. Did you have that one on last night on the footy show? How many blue suits do you own? No, I uh, I had this one. I had last night's provided, and this one was a bit of an Ivy League special from Lukey Chappelle, so... Plug, cha-ching. Plug, cha-ching. Go, get down to Ivy League, it's a really good store. Where's Marty this evening? Uh, she's about to come in. I've had to get here early to do uh, the cross for Channel 9, so another ching. Good news, station Channel 9. Um, but she'll be here soon, so hopefully, hopefully she'll look all right. I'm not sure yet. Kyle, first BNF, how are you feeling? Oh, uh, um, Pretty good, like nothing to be nervous about, so I'm um, just going to hopefully enjoy the night and be good. Who's your tip to take out the gold jacket tonight? Uh, Dougie, Dougie. I'm going for Dougie, obviously housemate, so uh, I'm going to be cheering all the way for him. But yeah, it's going to be tight, I reckon. Danger and Sloney won't be far behind or might pip him at the post. What's he been like at home today? Is he a bit nervous? Is he is he thinking he's a pretty good chance? Has he been calm? What's he been like around the place? Oh, he was mowing the lawn, so he's probably a bit edgy. So um, yeah, no, he's been all right. He's been he's been pretty good. He's sort of his dad's been talking it talking about it a fair bit, which has been getting him pretty pretty uh, annoyed. But no, nah, he's been pretty good, and um, yeah, hopefully he gets up. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Brody looking very sharp tonight. How long did this take to put together? Uh, about five minutes, yeah. Um, got the suit a couple of weeks ago from Ivy League and then put some wax in the hair and put the suit on and I was ready to go. What about your partner? Should have put a lot more time in tonight. Where is she at the moment? Uh, lost her already? I have lost her. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. She took a while though. She did all the hair and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, sat around waiting for her for a bit. Got the bow tie tonight. It's a very nice ensemble. Would you pick that out yourself? Yeah, I, yeah, I had a lot of help from the blokes at Peter Shearer in uh, Rundle Mall. So. Make sure you get out there if, uh, if you're looking for some, uh, some fresh threads. <laughs> How long did you spend all up getting ready? Oh, five minutes. Unlike the, uh, the partner, she took about, I don't know, a couple of days, I guess. What do you got planned for the break? You're off on holidays as of tomorrow? Uh, heading back basically straight away. Um, and Monday morning, head off for, three day, uh, for five days with Toyota around Country Vic. Doing a little bit of a tour there with BT. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Uh, so that'll be a bit of fun. Uh, a bit of fishing away and take, uh, take Marty away for, for a week to Hamilton Island. Um, so it'll be a little bit of fun and then get back into training and improve from last season. Going to Hamilton Island as well. When are you there? We might see you up there. Uh, when are we there? Day after the grand final. So I'm in Melbourne all grand final week and then uh, straight up there and relax. Just let me know how it is. I will. I'll give you a, I'll give you a weather report. <laughs> and your first season at the club, you must be happy to get a couple of games in there in your first season? Yeah, it was great to experience um, playing at the elite level and um, debuting is something I'll never forget. And also now I go into pre-season knowing what I have to work on, which is going to be really good for me. Who's your tip for worst dress tonight out of the boys? Out of the boys? Um, ooh, I would have probably said Sigo, but um, he, he doesn't look too bad. But His girlfriend might have dressed him tonight. Yeah, I would have thought so. Who's your tip for tonight for the gold jacket? Um, it's going to be very close. Uh, Sloney, Dougie and Danger. So uh, I've got to go with my mate Danger, I reckon, get, get his first one. Who's your tip for worst dress tonight out of the boys? Who's got no idea whatsoever? 
Um, oh, I'd have to be someone like Laddie. I'd say Rory Laird's probably going to... He might wear, come to his track, so who knows what he's going to wear. Well, Laddie, I don't know why, but a couple of the boys have nominated you for potentially worst dress. They couldn't have seen you because you're looking pretty sharp. Why would they be saying that? Because uh, I don't usually put too much effort in when it comes to the club's dress because uh, it's around a bunch of blokes. So um, I uh, went out and uh, got a new suit for this. So uh, I reckon a couple of them uh, could be on the nominees for worst dressed. How did the boys go this year? Obviously we know how it went on the field, but in terms of Guernsey's socks, shorts, have you got them all back? Oh, there's a few uh, desperate uh, that, uh, you know, Christmas presents, all that sort of stuff, but nah, it's all good, all good fun.